Welcome back to our ongoing mini series of the Mission Possible Fire. This one is going to be a different one as well. This one is to ensure that my legends or the legends are leveling up as they should in order to fire. Let's engage. Okay, we're going to cover financial sovereignty, financial stability, financial debt freedom, pre-financial independence or independent, financial flex, financial independence, and the epitome, the icing on the cake, the Mount Everest financial freedom. Okay, here we go. This is the levels. Level one, solvency. Two, stability. Three, freedom. Four, independence. Five is the flex. Financial independence is six. And financial freedom, of course, is seventh level. Okay, financial solvency. This is when you have the ability to pay all your bills on time. Everything that, whatever bills you you have, $2,500 a month in bills, you have exactly $2,500 a month coming in. Essentially, this is what we call living paycheck to paycheck. If something arises that's going to be an emergency that's out of that $2,500, is going to cause you to tap your savings if you have it. If not, you're going to have to go to a credit card. Or take out a different loan, because if you take a loan, you still got to make payments, which is going to be more than your $2,500. That's financial solvency. Let's level up. Level two. Now, you're earning enough to cover all your expenses, plus you were able to establish an emergency account. As well, it gives you a little bit of extra to save for the future. So instead of just $2,500, now you're making $3,000 a month. You have the twenty five hundred to cover all your bills. You can save two fifty for the into an emergency fund, and you also have another hundred dollars a month to put into the bank to save for the future. Well, we're not, we're going to use the bank just for the sake of discussion here. Level three. All right. Now here, this is a little bit financially debt freedom is what we were shooting for right here at this level. Here, you're essentially debt free. Meaning you don't have a car note. You don't. You, you might have the mortgage, but we'll get to that. So you don't have a car note. You don't have any student loans. You don't have any credit card debt. Nothing like that. No medical bills pressing. None of that. You may have your mortgage payment left, especially if you're going to fire. This is a legendary milestone to be debt free. Now, I had to make a separate bullet for the mortgage. Now, your view on this one is what matters. It's your view. And we know in one of the previous fires, we talked about the house being your asset. But some people want to pay it off early. Some don't. It, it just really depends. Because paying it off early and spending all that money and still having it be a liability isn't really worth it when you could be doing other investments with that money. But like I say, that's the decision that you have to make. Is this a debt or an asset to you? If you relocate and rent it out for more money than your payment, it can be a passive income stream. So some still will still say that it's a form of debt. So that decision of being everything else debt free except for your mortgage is something that you're going to have to come to terms with. To me, that's a great situation. Like that's the only payment that I have is my house note. But, you know, it is what it is. When we was in Costa Rica, we had it rented out and I was making profit on it. It just depends on what you want to do. All right. Level four. Now, pre-financial independence. At level four, you can live really easy. Your assets are providing exactly what you need, as well as you have the capital to live off of. So what, you have all your assets, your business or whatever you have, your stocks, your crypto, all your different assets that you have, you are providing or you're bringing in more than what you need. You now you can actually <laughs> change to a less stressful job if you want to change your job because like you know what I'm tired of I'm going to just use teaching just because I'm thinking about it because we had it in, in the uh, in the other video so if you're a teacher and you're like oh okay it's the the kids are stressing me out let me step back and let me just be a substitute teacher you can go and work one or two days a week just for a couple of hours or you can just stop working altogether. That's where that pre-financial independence level comes in. It affords you that ability to make those kind of decisions. Like I'm done, but I just want to keep my foot in there because I really love the kids. 
And like I said, I'll give a shout out to the teachers. You should be the highest people on the paid people on the planet, period. Okay, level five. Now you've reached the fifth level. You have the flexibility to utilize your money movement strategy so you can move money around as you choose and you can relocate funds from here to there to cover expenses. Say there was a medical emergency and you're like, oh, no problem. You could go over, cover it and keep on moving, meaning you can cover any kind of shortfall for any certain amount of period. You can move your stocks, you can move your crypto or whatever, whatever. That's being able to, that's a financial flex. Now, financial independence, you are at level six. You can pay all your bills with ease. You can stop working if you choose to. You don't have to be frugal because that's one of the big things about fire is being frugal. With proper planning and great investments, you don't have to be frugal. Like when we moved to Costa Rica, we wasn't frugal. We had a that we paid a thousand dollars a month. We had a four bedroom, one, two, three and a half bath condo for a thousand dollars a month. No heat, no air conditioning in Central Valley because in Costa Rica we didn't need it. Now at our beach house that we bought, we you know we had air conditioning, but this is what I'm saying. I, you don't have to live frugal. Like right now, I, if I wanted to go get a new vehicle, I could, but I choose to keep my my suburban that I have now. But it's the ability to have the ability to make the choices that you want well i want this okay you get it and the thing is that you don't have to be frugal and you can maintain your current lifestyle for yourself if you're single or your family or if it's just you and your spouse you know you can add passive income streams you can say well, you know what i need an extra hundred dollars a month go out you can go out and create it by buying a business and the investment in stocks in, in the dividend paying stocks of course in, in some different cryptos you have that. And like I said, then you can also acquire assets that can add to your cash flow. Like I say, if you want to go into a business or buy a business that's already existing, like a franchise, these are the options that you have afforded to you. And now, level seven, you leveled up. Now, you have the funds to do as you choose. You ready to move? Let's move. You can stop working. You can live where you want to live, wherever you choose. You can travel where you want, when you want. And you can maintain your lifestyle stress-free. When I retired in 2011, that's exactly where we were. My wife said, babe, I want this much money coming in between us in order to be retired, retired. And I believe me, you best believe I made sure that we hit that goal. I think back then it was like $7,000 a month or something like that. So we were well past that. So that's why, because I retired in May she came up being like, you know what? You're going to move to Costa Rica now? I'm like, what are you talking about? I thought we weren't going to go until after my daughter graduated high school in 2013. She's like, nah, let's go now. So I retired in May of 2011. July of 2011, we was on our way to Costa Rica. That's the ability that it gave us. And I, like I said, I loved it there. Money was no issue. It was Everything was great. We rented the house out here and we moved. It, it was perfect. Everything went into storage. The only thing we took with us was clothes. And that was it. But this is the level that you want to reach. So you want to do everything you need to do. And, and I'm not saying that you need seven years in order to fire. Once you sit down and do your goals, you're going to see how everything, you're going to start leveling up. And then when you hit level seven, you're ready. The only decision that you need to make is when you want to retire or when you want to fire and where you want to fire to. Because I stated in one of the other videos, me and my wife's goal, because once my 20-year-old graduated in 2020, he'll be 21 this year, we were going to move to a year in Aruba, a year in Curacao, no, a year in Bonaire, and then a year in Curacao, and then return back to the States for my youngest to start high school, which he's starting high school this year. But of course, we had the pandemic, and that put a wrench in our plans. But it was just, it was really nice planning for it because we were ready to go. And so, believe me, we're looking at it again. But that's where you, you want to be able to do. You want to be able to come and go as you choose. And that's what I want the legends to be aware of. And that's the whole reason that I created the Fire Series. The Fire Series, because a lot of the legends didn't even know that it even existed. And now I want to ensure that I give you as much tools as possible Excuse the fire truck. Of course, it's going to be an emergency. <laughs> 
But I want to ensure that you had all the tools at your disposal to help you fire and to do nothing else but plant a seed. Because I don't think anybody really wants to work until they're 50, 60 years old, 70 years old. I don't think they want to do that. Exactly. You don't want to be in an emergency, have the ambulance coming after you. So that's why I created the fire series. So if you haven't seen the rest of the fire series, I please I behoove you to take some time and to sit and watch the videos. It is definitely something to think about. And like I said, my goal was to plant a seed that it was actually possible. I did it. And I know there's groups out there. Uh, so many like the active duty passive income, that Facebook group. There's so many different groups out there that gives you the ability or gives you other options and insight and plans and everything to do it. So my goal with the fire series was to plant the seed, give you the tools and, and really to leave something on your mind that it, it can be done. And like I said, for us in crypto, being not so much as DGENs, but just being in the DeFi space in crypto period, we have the ability to create a passive income that a lot of the other um, FIRE members didn't. They had to shoot for the big giant goal of $2 million in order to, to, to FIRE. You don't. You can say, okay, well, I got $5,000 a month coming from Drip, this much coming from the Animal Farm, this much from the Piggy Bank, this much from the Garden. Of course, you know, and this much from BBB because BBB gives you that consistent money. So you have a lot of different options that a lot of the other folks didn't have to make this mission of you firing even easier. All right, I'm going to end it there because I'll just keep on rambling. So as always, we covered the financial sovereignty, stability, debt freedom, financial, pre-financial independence, financial flexing, independence, and of course the ultimate, which is freedom. Now, this video is for informational educational purposes only. This is never intended as any type of financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. I'm here just providing my legend some edutainment. That's it. So, like I say, take your time, do what you need to do. And like I say, if you want to fire, you have the tools at your disposal. So please like, share, comment, subscribe. And to all of my legends, you got seven seconds. Engage.